did you have any difficulty in studying maths while in junior or senior high school? Was it because the teacher wasn't good or perhaps the formulas were too many for you? Well, according to Professor Sichofe Anku, president of the Ghana Mathematics Association, the subject is not as difficult as it's purported to be and that students have no excuse to fail that subject. So tell me, do you think mathematics is, as e is easy or difficult? I think math is easy because it deals with formulas and if you go through the right procedures you can be able to get the final answer and I think it's easy but then again um, it depends on the teacher who taught you in math or who teach you in the subject if he 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 does not or did not teach you well then you might have a problem with the subject math but if he did then you are cool with the subject for me it's very difficult formulas very confusing formulas yes sir. and then the teachers too yes they don't take that time most of them mm. so it's, it's difficult and about when you excel in math you can excel in any subject it's so wrong i had a classmate who was really good in math but his english his spelling was bomb so that one no it's not true it's not difficult it's easy that's if you learn if you solve problems and all, it turns out to be easy. So it's not, math is not difficult. It's not a difficult subject. Well, not necessarily easy, but then again, it is how you are taught mathematics that's going to make you find it easy or difficult. If you, if you have a very good teacher, then great, you're sorted, it's easy. But if you don't have a very good teacher, then it's going to become difficult and complicated for you. I did math myself, but I didn't really like it because when a teacher comes to class, it's all formulas, formulas, formulas. But then if you make it practical, if you make it relatable to maybe life or something that we do on a normal, on a normal basis or an everyday basis, then I'll get it, I understand it, I can apply it, and then it's good. It wouldn't be something difficult as people label it. So I don't think math is difficult. I confess, my brother used to beat me a lot because of math. <laughs> He couldn't understand why he was a genius and simple. No, he couldn't. Yeah, he, he couldn't, couldn't think far. For you. <laughs> but you know the interesting thing about maths? You always know that you can even calculate your maths after exams because the answer will be the same. <laughs> Unlike English where, I mean, the, the lecturer uses their discretion to mark your composition and essays. So I think maths should be easy, isn't it? I think ma math is cool. I mean, if you understand, <laughs> it's about understanding the principles. Yeah. If you understand the principles, you're just fine. Definitely so. Yeah. Well, let's check out your comments on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence P. Jr. says, that's if you are lazy and not willing to study <laughs> or follow principles. Otherwise, math cool like ice cream. Oh, really? Vanilla or <laughs> <laughs> chocolate? <laughs> Yeah, somebody says that, uh, Max says, uh, bragging, but you had F9. <laughs> <laughs> Coolest kid says, no lie, prof. It's all about practice and time. Uh, Bright Wonder says, we will not mind him. He should take his math. <laughs> Philip Joan says, it is difficult to me because I don't even understand the mathematical language. <laughs> Apia John says, it all depends on the basics of the subject. And most students get those basics wrong. Wusu says, true mum, mathematics was one of the easiest subjects for me in SHS. Very easy to learn. And uh, Toko says, I find it easy because of elective maths background. It's the, the only course you can score 100%. Hey, it's true. Like, seriously? You have a point. You have a point. Wow. That's it, Brace says, if maths is not difficult, professor should ask why I had it. <laughs> <laughs> the prof was in there. <laughs> Bismarck says the most easiest subject I know is mathematics. And Kofi Osiyeva <laughs> says, so all those long formulas, how are they applicable in real life? They are they applicable are. in real life, actually. <laughs> if, you, if you tend to see math that way, that mm. is actually applicable in, in real life, it would help you. I think it would even make it easier. You have to be, if you want to be analytical, you must understand your math. If, you're, if, if you don't get your math, so you, you should now begin to apply x plus y. I mean, then you, should, you will understand why x plus y will give you <laughs> x, y at the end of the day. Okay, find y. <laughs> you remember, change of subject. You have to go and find y. Where is y going to? Is it my business? <laughs> And finally, a research by uh, researchers from the Florida State University in the U.S. 
suggests less attractive ladies are more likely to engage in extramarital affairs than attractive women. The US researchers followed 233 newly married couples for three and a half years to conclude their research. Do you agree or disagree? I don't agree. First of all, I don't agree that less attractive women are likely to cheat on their partners more than. I think that it depends on your character. It doesn't depend on your beauty. If you, are, you have good morals, you're brought up from a good home, I don't think you will cheat. It has got nothing to do with how you look or your physique. No, I don't believe so. Um, I don't believe in that because... <laughs> I think um, facial expression or uh, beauty has got nothing to do with me cheating. Moreover, I think cheating is a decision. You cheat as a result of what is going on in the family. Maybe the um, spouse is not giving you what you want. That is making you cheat. So I don't think cheating has, has got something to do with beauty or something like that. Looking at women. Those who are beautiful are always attracted by men. So they gain advantage. And men also go in for most beautiful ladies. Yeah, that is what they believe in. Yeah, despite the educational background, wherever they are coming from. Yeah. Draw your verdict. <laughs> I'll stay out of it. Okay, right. so I tend to um, agree with the first lady who says it's your character, your behavior, because sometimes the pressure will be there, but it depends on how you manage yeah. it. But these guys have done research, and they're referring to the research. You can't really fault their research. <laughs> Numbers don't lie. <laughs> All right, let's look at the comments. The findings uh, by perception, this cannot be true. No external validity to do find these findings. Uh, Walanyo says, because they are good in everything, they sugar their men perfectly. <laughs> Rich Eli says, yep. Have you ever seen an attractive, an, uh, an unattractive lady as a prostitute before? They are all pretty ladies. It's everywhere in the world. Okay. <laughs> I don't quite <laughs> don't get, quite get it, actually. Uh, there are three replies. Let's see what the replies are over there. Uh, Adams says, read between lines. Your yep defeats everything you've written <laughs> against your story. Rich Eli says, what's your understanding of yep? <laughs> and Adams uh, read the findings again. Uh -huh. Okay, Scanty McDaniel says it's true because if you're dating a pretty lady, all you have is headache because it's every man's choice. <laughs> and so then, he, I, I think he also didn't get yeah, why. Yeah, so Ibrahim yeah. Sharif says, ah, why don't I believe this? <laughs> <laughs> and Philip says, I can't make anything out of this. And he laughs. I can't tell some of this. To me, it's rather the opposite. Who have time for unattractive ladies? Grah. And Daniel Tay says, very true. Suleimana comes in to write, is their own case. And Michael Esiedu says, very true, pa. Those are some of your comments on Facebook. Mm -hmm.